Life is a remarkable journey, a symphony of interconnected events and processes that shape the existence of every living being on this planet. It is a continuous cycle of birth, growth, reproduction, and eventual death, a cycle that has been ongoing for billions of years. But why is reproduction so fundamental to this cycle? What drives this relentless pursuit of creating new life? Why do living organisms feel the inherent need to create offspring? This question has intrigued scientists and philosophers alike for centuries. The answer lies in the continuation of life itself. Reproduction is the mechanism through which life perpetuates, ensuring that the genetic material of a species is passed on to future generations. Reproduction ensures the survival of a species, passing the torch of life from one generation to the next. It is through this process that the essence of life is preserved and carried forward. Imagine a world without the laughter of children, the joy and innocence they bring, or the sense of hope they represent for the future, or the majesty of a lioness with her cubs, a symbol of strength, protection, and the continuity of life in the wild. Without reproduction, life as we know it would cease to exist. The landscapes we cherish would become barren, devoid of the vibrant life that currently inhabits them. This fundamental process ensures that the genetic legacy of a species is preserved and carried forward. From the smallest bacteria, which reproduce at an astonishing rate, to the largest whales, which have their own unique reproductive strategies, Every living organism participates in this extraordinary cycle, ensuring the perpetuation of its kind. The changing seasons, the ebb and flow of life, all are part of this grand design. It is a testament to the power and resilience of life, a force that can overcome the harshest conditions and adapt to the most challenging environments. This force has been driving the diversity and evolution of species for millennia shaping the incredible variety of life forms that we see today. From the simplest organisms to the most complex, the cycle of life and continuity is a universal truth that binds us all. Our planet teems with an astounding array of life forms. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest mammals, every corner of the Earth is brimming with life. From the lush rainforests to the arid deserts, life finds a way to thrive in countless shapes and sizes. In the dense canopies of the Amazon, vibrant birds and elusive jaguars coexist, while in the vast Sahara, resilient cacti and tenacious camels endure the harsh conditions. But how do we make sense of this incredible diversity? How do we distinguish one species from another? Scientists have dedicated their lives to studying these organisms, meticulously observing their behaviors and characteristics. The answer lies in the unique characteristics that define each species, passed down through generations. These traits are encoded in their DNA, the blueprint of life, ensuring that each species retains its distinct identity. These characteristics, both physical and behavioral, allow us to group organisms and understand their place in the web of life. Physical traits like fur patterns, wing shapes, and vocalizations are just the beginning. Think of the majestic stripes of a tiger, each stripe pattern as unique as a human fingerprint, serving as camouflage in the dense forests. The intricate patterns on a butterfly's wings, not only beautiful, but also crucial for warding off predators and attracting mates. Or the melodious song of a nightingale, a complex series of notes that communicate territory and attract a mate. These are not mere decorations, but vital markers of identity. They play a crucial role in the survival and reproduction of each species. They help us differentiate a tiger from a lion, not just by their appearance, but also by their behaviors and habitats. A monarch butterfly from a swallowtail, each with its own migration patterns and host plants, or a nightingale from a sparrow, each with distinct songs and nesting habits. These distinguishing features are crucial for species recognition, mating, and survival. They ensure that each species can find a compatible mate and successfully reproduce. They are a testament to the intricate tapestry of life, 
woven over millions of years of evolution. This tapestry is ever-changing, with new species emerging and others fading away, a dynamic process that continues to shape the world we live in. As we study and understand this diversity, we also recognize the importance of conservation. Protecting these species and their habitats is crucial for maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. Efforts to save endangered species and restore habitats are vital. Each species, no matter how small, plays a role in the larger ecological picture. Our connection to this tapestry of life is profound. By preserving it, we ensure a future where both nature and humanity can thrive together. When organisms reproduce, they pass on a set of instructions that dictate the traits of their offspring. These instructions, encoded within DNA, determine everything from an organism's physical appearance to its susceptibility to certain diseases. But does this mean that offspring are merely carbon copies of their parents? Not exactly. While offspring inherit a combination of genes from both parents, the process of inheritance is not always straightforward. Genes can interact in complex ways, leading to variations in traits that make each individual unique. This variation, as we will explore further, is crucial for the survival and adaptation of species. Think of human siblings. While they share a common gene pool, they often exhibit differences in height, hair color, or personality. These subtle variations are a testament to the intricate dance of genes and the remarkable diversity they generate. Section 4. The Spice of Life Variation and Adaptation Variation, the subtle differences between individuals of the same species, is not merely a quirk of nature. These differences can be seen in the color of a bird's feathers, the shape of a leaf, or the pattern on a butterfly's wings. They are the result of genetic diversity, which is crucial for the health and survival of populations. It is the very engine that drives evolution and ensures the survival of species in a constantly changing world. Without variation, species would be unable to adapt to new challenges, such as diseases, predators, or changes in climate. This adaptability is what has allowed life on Earth to thrive in a multitude of environments, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. Imagine a population of animals facing a sudden environmental change, such as a new predator or a shift in climate. In such scenarios, the individuals that possess traits better suited to the new conditions will have a higher chance of survival. For instance, a thicker fur coat might help an animal survive in colder climates, while a faster running speed could help another escape from predators. Those individuals with traits that make them better suited to the new conditions are more likely to survive and reproduce. This process, known as natural selection, ensures that the advantageous traits are passed on to the next generation. Over time, these traits become more prevalent within the population, leading to a gradual shift in the species' characteristics. Their offspring, inheriting these advantageous traits, will also have a better chance of survival. This cycle of variation, selection, and inheritance is what drives the process of evolution. It is through this mechanism that species adapt to their environments and continue to evolve over generations. Over time, these favorable traits become more common within the population, leading to adaptation. This gradual change can be observed in the fossil record, where we see evidence of species evolving over millions of years. Adaptation is not a quick process, but rather a slow and steady one, shaped by the pressures of the environment. Variation ensures that species have a pool of different traits to draw from, increasing their chances of weathering the storms of environmental change. This genetic diversity acts as a buffer against extinction, providing the raw material for evolution to work with. In a world where change is the only constant, variation is the key to survival. It is the spice of life, the driving force behind the incredible diversity and resilience of the natural world. From the tiniest microorganisms to the largest mammals, every living organism owes its existence to the process of variation and adaptation. 
This dynamic interplay between genetics and the environment is what makes life on Earth so wonderfully diverse and endlessly fascinating. Section 5. Asexual Reproduction. Life finds a way. In the bustling marketplace of life, reproduction takes many forms. While sexual reproduction, involving the fusion of male and female gametes, is common, many organisms opt for a simpler route, asexual reproduction. Asexual reproduction is a solo act, a process where a single parent produces offspring that are genetically identical to itself. This form of reproduction is particularly common in simpler organisms, such as bacteria, fungi, and some plants. There are several types of asexual reproduction, each with its own unique mechanism. These include fission, fragmentation, regeneration, budding, vegetative propagation, and spore formation. Let's delve into each of these fascinating processes. From the splitting of a single-celled amoeba to the growth of a new plant from a cutting, asexual reproduction showcases the remarkable diversity and adaptability of life on Earth. 